Hey, it's Mickey for Motion Restoration. So I'm working today with Dr. Abelson to bring you guys the six best strengthening exercises and how to perform them for golfers. So first one that we're gonna start with, actually, even before we get started, why don't you grab yourself a couple of sets of dumbbells. I want you to grab a medium and a heavy set. So for myself today, I'm working with 10 pounds and 15 pounds. So get those all ready for yourself. First exercise that we're gonna do is a Russian twist. So you're gonna grab one single dumbbell. To start, I would honestly grab the lighter of the dumbbells. So we're gonna have ourselves in a sitting position. Our feet are out in front of us to help with our stabilization for when we are twisting back and forth. So you're gonna hold the dumbbell in front of your face. You're gonna kinda of lean back a little bit and then we're going to rotate to the right and rotate to the left. So this is our movement for a Russian twist. Now, of course, there's variations of this that we've all seen. You can have arms up, you can be tapping the elbow, you can have arms straight out. But we're gonna be starting off with a very simple version. So you're gonna be doing between 10 to 12 reps per side. So your total is gonna be between 20 and 24 reps. So again, rotating as we keep that lean back. Now engage through the core, pull that belly button into that spine. Just like so. All right, next up, I want you to grab onto those heavy dumbbells and we're gonna get into a bent over row. So for that, you're gonna go hip width apart for your feet. You got dumbbells in both hands, you're going to uh, I always find it better, instead of just kind of bending over and hoping for the best, I want you to actually rotate that pelvis, push your glutes out when you bend over. You're kind of protecting your back a little bit more this way. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to draw the elbows back and up, contract those rhomboid area as if there's a pencil between your two rhomboids or between your shoulder blades, and then relax. Draw it back down, up, squeeze, contract, and then release, contract, and release. Now you're gonna be doing between 10 to 12 reps of this. And don't forget your breathing. All right, next up, I want you to kinda of think about your own shoulder strength with this one, cause it's gonna hit your shoulders more than it's gonna hit your legs. So for you, you might be starting off with your letter dumbbells. I'm gonna head up my kinda of heavier ones for this one. So we're gonna be doing a squat press or a squat thrust or a squat shoulder press. Everyone has a different name for it. So you're gonna be taking your, uh, your feet out a little bit more than hip width. Uh, myself, I like my toes just a little bit more turned out. That is my preference. If you're comfortable with your legs being in and closer together, then that's your preference for a squat. So the motion, we got those dumbbells brought up to our shoulders. If you can see them, they're not far enough back. I want you to have them so they're in line with those shoulders, so you're actually working on the shoulder muscles, not your pecs, okay? So squat down, press up. That's one rep. Down, press up, two. Get nice and low in that squat. This is also gonna jack that heart rate up too. And you're gonna be doing between 10 and 12 reps. Keep that posture up. So next up, we have a lateral dumbbell raise or a lateral shoulder raise. So for that, I recommend grabbing the lighter of the two dumbbells. So for this, I find it easier if actually my feet are touching. <laughs> I find I have a better range of motion. I also find it better uh, for my contraction versus having my legs hip width apart. It's up to you though. So I like to have feet together and a little slight bend forward. So I have room for my weights to go somewhere versus just hitting my sides. So a little bit bent forward, slight bend in the elbow and we're lifting to the side. So we're about shoulder height. So lift about shoulder height and then back down to starting position. Back down to starting position. Don't forget your breathing. So between 10 and 12 reps. I also find engaging my core really helps with this as well. 
And if you're noticing, I'm getting kind of a pinching pain, even just a little more of a bend when you are coming up can help out that little bit of a pinch in the shoulder too. All right, so grab those heavy dumbbells again, one in each hand. We're gonna be doing a straight leg deadlift. So for that, your feet are hip width apart. I want you to think of not locking the knees out, but a soft bend in the knee. We're focusing on hamstrings and glutes. So we're only gonna be going about as far as your own hamstrings will allow you to go. Contract, bring yourself up to the starting position. So for myself, my hamstrings are about there before my knees start bending. And then back up. And then up. So another angle. So hinging from the hips, kind of pushing your glutes back and then back up. So this is the range of motion. Feel that stretch in that hamstring. Just like that. So between 10 to 12 reps. All right, so next up is going to be our glute bridge with weights. So for this, you can either grab your heaviest of dumbbells or you can grab two of the heaviest of dumbbells or your two light ones. It depends on what your preference is or if you're wanting to feel a little spicy, go up and wait quite a bit. So for this, you're going to go on your back. You're gonna grab your dumbbell, making sure that your heels are also uh, roughly where your fingertips are going to be. So you grab your weight. If it's uncomfortable for it to be on your hips, grab yourself a pillow and rest your weight on your pillow. It actually can help out quite a bit. So what you're gonna do is, we're gonna be driving through our heels up, contracting. I'm not holding the weight up. All I'm doing is just resting it to make sure the weight is on the hips. And then back down. And then up, contract, clench, squeeze those glutes. And up. Now most people notice a 15 pound weight isn't gonna be enough for them to have enough of a burnout in their glutes. So that's why I'm saying combine weights. Uh, get a bunch of them or get a bigger weight for when you're doing your glute bridges. So for this, we're gonna be doing between 10 to 12 reps. <laughs> 